What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. Now, we about to get into um, this situation that happened yesterday with Tommy and her event and party favors. So this guy came out alleging that um, uh, on, on Tommy's production team, he got... I don't want to use the word, so D word. He he got um somebody got him intoxicated, you know, against his will. All right. And with the intoxication, he was saying that it was coming from Tommy's team. So we about to get into that. Um, I didn't know all the facts yesterday. I didn't want to react oh, to it. I'm gonna do it today. Tommy from Love and Hip Hop had like a little who's next audition casting, right? And I feel like somebody drugged like put something inside those drinks or those shots last night because thank god i was able to get away and like you know call my sister for her to pick me up and stuff and i'm not blaming tommy or anything because the whole time tommy was sitting down but somebody inside her team i feel like was trying to drug i don't know i don't know i don't know i don't know i just know i had one drink last night that was this fucking small from her production team and start fucking losing my mind and I needed my sister to come pick me up. So if anybody was there last night, because I really didn't know really anybody like that, you feel me? A lot of people didn't know each other, but if you guys come across this video, hit me up because I'm just trying to see something. Because I know other people start feeling weird too. You like trying to see something like quick. Pass out, and we just all thought it was because it was hot. <coughs> okay, so. So a group of us just. Oh, hell no. <clears throat> Where is tea room when I need something to be read, y'all? For those that don't know, I'm a bit congested, baby, and it's just it's taking a lot of wind to read some of these things. I was a silent victim at one point. I got that. So I'm sure he wasn't going to be silent again. Uh, they gave him the shot or whatever about 30, 45 minutes. That's how you skim some shit. 34, 45 minutes after the shot, many people was tripping. Got it. I kept thinking in my head, oh, my God. Why do I feel like this? I feel like I'm about to die. All right. Um, he finally pulled up to the gas station. Um, he had me, he didn't crash to lose his life. He had to call his sister. Uh, I finally got a hold of my sister to pick me up because I know something was wrong. I was questioning reality, hyperventilating. What was in this drink? <clears throat> I think somebody tried to drug me in the audition. Uh, Tommy said, nobody tried to do that. If you took the, what they offer you, love, sis, you see me taking anything from anyone. We're grown. Know what you're taking. I didn't know anyone there outside of my team, and none of us would never. It was a dry set for a reason, but learn from this in the future. Stop taking any and everything you're offered. It could, baby, it could cost you your life. Honey Sauce will tell y'all, somebody will, can, would, would you like something? No. Now I'm really not. I'm the type to go to the house with my own yak. Okay. And I'm the type to also leave with the rest of the yak that I had in the bottle. I don't necessarily want to share with y'all. I want my yak on the way back. I definitely keep my bottle ratchet. I never was the one to go, go drink out the punch bowl and shit like that. Um, for those reasons, some people like to get high. Like really though, like really though, let's be for real. None of my friends have ever said, let's try a crack. I don't know who y'all be around. Tommy was over it. <laughs> As an adult, you have to take accountability for things you do that could have been avoided. Stop looking for someone to place the blame on and start with yourself. We're human effing. Well, I guess shit happens on up. Uh, I've been through things in life, so no one can play me into taking anything I don't want. Okay, it sounded like Tommy was just going off on a hell of a tangent, and that's why her ass had to apologize. Let's get into this apology shit. Mm -hmm. Come on, Tommy. <coughs> Girl, she did not feel like doing that. What's up, gang? I can't fast forward to y'all, so. <clears throat> so, we're going to get to the bottom of this. It's a lot been going on. 
It's a whole lot. Uh, um, first of all, I just want to say deepest, deepest sympathetic. Um, what? Apology to nigga. Whoever was <laughs> deepest, deepest sympathetic. Okay. Now y'all know sometimes I will get caught on the word, and I have to tell y'all to tell me what the word was after I put out the video. Okay, cause I couldn't get the word. I couldn't find it. But nah, that was funny as hell. Deep, deep sympathetic. Okay. It was affected at my event. Like I learned of it when I was leaving. Actually, I did get the okay to <laughs> give everyone a congratulatory. Uh, congratulate. How did you say it? Congratulatory. Like shot at the end from a liquor store that they wouldn't purchase, but it was never okay to um, take and give out your items. Like I was giving edibles, weed, all type of things. Like you know, they brands. That's what it was about. It wasn't a fighting. It's, it's not a fighting show. It's not a you know. It's not one of them. It was just like to showcase you know your talent and just give you a big <coughs> platform to go ahead and do that like i said it was like chefs hairstylists uh artists anything any whatever your talent was i said in the same spot the entire night same spot if i wasn't giving out a hug or like getting on stage to coach like what was going on i ain't gonna lie that feels so crazy created a drunk that wasn't what i wanted because i ultimately know like that's gonna take things somewhere else so basically, um, right before we got ready to leave, I was like, oh, yeah, it's okay. Get him a shot. Yeah, I did so good. Like, it was nothing but good, positive energy. And then when I was on the way home, um, I got a phone call saying, hey. And it was someone I knew. Like, it was someone that they brought. And it was like, oh, they uh, they slip uh, her something or whatever the fuck. And I'm like, what? So me getting down to the bottom of who it was that same night, I posted um, the guy when we found out who it was, but he was also, he was also a cast. Like, I mean, he was a cast, but he was also a, um, a runner up. Basically he was trying to promote his brand or whatever. So he got up Damn. there and did his thing and, and he took it upon himself to <laughs> offer whatever. Never was that. And what the hell did he give folks? What was they giving? Like what we wanted or something <coughs> like that. He's not a member of my staff. Where's that He's part not Any of that. So basically, um, that's what really happened. And I really kind of wish everybody would have used their head on this one and just, you know, didn't accept it. I like, swear didn't I accept it at all. But, you know, shit happens. Shit happens. That's what happened. But I did get irritated when it started angling towards, oh, yeah, Tommy's people and Tommy. And, like, no, we had nothing to do with that. That's not what it was about at all. And like I said, I'm glad everybody's safe, everybody's alive, and everybody's cool enough to talk about this. But I hope y'all did what y'all was supposed to do the night that it happened. Because within the same hour, I recall me going live. And I recall me making the same statement, this apologetic statement to everybody that was involved or whatever happened. If they didn't know, if they did know, however, that wasn't supposed to go on at all. That's Am I crazy. Placing the blame or a point I'm trying of to find the guy. Anybody? No. Even though I should be, even though I should be. And y'all, I'm not live because I don't feel good. So I fuck around and hang up on y'all ass. And y'all gonna be like, why you hang up? Cause I don't feel good, friend. Cause I know y'all would have sent it to me. But I, I need you to send it to me after the fact. The person who, who gave that out, <coughs> because it's not normal to pass out drugs during a, a casting call. It's not normal. If that's what you went to and that's your, yeah, but it's still like kind of illegal. I've never took shrooms. I left there and I was fine because I don't take shrooms. I don't smoke weed. I don't eat edibles. So everything that they gave me, I don't even know. They stole my bag as well. They st I'm glad they stole it. But it was a girl. She was like, oh, she has a farm. And she had weed. She gave me a bag just as well as the girl who did hair. Like, we had girls in there braiding hair. Like, we had a good night, ultimately. Like, it was cool. I ain't gonna lie. You gotta know who there, though, because Tommy fuck around and get sued. 
if the right person got their hands on that. And when I left, shit went left. So I got those phone calls. I ultimately just try to help y'all find whoever gave y'all that, even though I don't know him. That was my first night seeing him. Like it was my first night seeing all of y'all. I don't, I didn't know anybody there outside of the people that came with me, which was my sister. I cannot find and Rob. That's who came to me. Re, he's he's on my team. He's working with me on this project, and all those other all those other people was hired by him. So it was just like that, and I actually met all of them there as well. So they haven't been working with us fully throughout the whole process, and just for you know, take into consideration, this is my first time doing anything like this. Not to um to lessen anything or whatever. This is my first time. Like it comes with error. It comes with you know a lot of shit that you. It does. She wouldn't have been able to learn from this. I don't know if this is Zeus production though, no, but learn as you go. And with that just being said, basically, <coughs> I'm glad y'all okay. And whatever y'all need to do, do it. Do it. But make sure you are um, incriminating and, and, and putting these accusations on the right person. Because me, I never left my seat. I never moved. I never gave anybody anything. And the things that was given, given to me, I still have them. I still have my hair. Um, my makeup brushes. A shout out to the girl with the lip gloss with the the light. The lip gloss got a fucking light in a mirror, bitch. I love your lip gloss. I've been using that. That's about the only thing I don't use out this whole thing. And I'm going to use her makeup brushes too. Let me see what's her name. This shit is fire. This lip gloss. I don't think Tommy take drugs, y'all. I think alcohol is a drug for her. But alcohol is a drug for some. For real. I love this. <clears throat> so it's... um. Name on here. CD's baby. Fire. She has a mirror. Hold on, y'all. Don't look at my dressy. Okay, y'all. I ain't necessarily promoting um lip gloss. <coughs> uh, but I, I did see dude video. I just don't remember where I seen it at. And um, but he basically was like. I told people I had party favors and um, I told people that, you know, some of them wasn't party favors. And, you know, and like in Atlanta, you can go to a barbershop and nigga be standing there with uh, Hennessy and uh, Coquiana and he'll call it that and, and call it Coca-Cola. I'm not buying it. I don't. I probably bought one ever since I've been here and. I probably sipped it just to see if it would take me up out of here um, because I, you have to test things. I don't just go into shit fully drinking, whatever. I don't do none of it no more. I don't even, I don't want it. You know what I'm saying? Um, things that are edible can really take you up out of here. You know what I'm saying? And you don't know what the hell it is. So mm, it don't be worth it to me. So that's why I got my own yak in the back. You know what I'm saying? My own casa casa. Mufasa, you know what I'm saying? I ain't got time for the for them problems. But all right, y'all, let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. Um, do you think that uh, Tommy do drugs? I don't. I think she. I think alcohol is a drug for her when she does get drunk. Um, and I don't think she had nothing to do with that. But I think she de definitely need to watch out for sure. All right, y'all. <clears throat> I'm done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.